What's up everybody, Kyle here at Let's Talk Wax and I'm going to be kicking off a new series that I'm going to be doing monthly where I break down the highest sales among Bowman Chrome Autos by volume. So these are going to be the top five uh, most sales over the last month and the app that I'm using uh, for this data is called Card Hedge. They approached me uh, about a week ago and asked me you know, to play around with the app and it's a pretty cool app. It's something that I've been looking to utilize in my videos a lot to kind of give you guys an idea of what's really hot right now. Um, you know, the, the trends kind of pick up very quickly in this hobby. So um, it's gonna be a monthly series where I break down the top five. I'm gonna do some honorable mentions as always, like I do with my content, but it's gonna be the top five highest um, selling uh, Bowman Chrome Autos by volume, not by price. It's not the, the you know the highest priced five Bowman Chrome Autos, but the most sales. You know, which um, kind of shows you market wise that there's a lot of interest kind of picking up with these players. So we're gonna start off with uh, start off with Hasui Depala with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Now this kid hit a monster shot in spring training and kind of um, got some notoriety. He does have a lot of power. Uh, he posts some pretty high exit velocity, so he's a very high ceiling bat. Um, a young kid, he's 18.9, he's playing in low A right now. An outfielder, like I said, with the Los Angeles Dodgers. He's had 30 plate appearances so far this year. Um, he's hitting 222 with a 37 ISO, so he's definitely not off to a very hot start. 23% uh, K rate, 6.6% walk rate. Uh, he's got zero home runs and two stolen bases. So the season is very, very young. Um, you know, and some of these guys have really inflated numbers who got off to hot starts. And some of these guys, of course, like DePaula, you know, have some smaller numbers because they didn't quite get off to a hot start. And that's usually how it goes in the hobby. You know, the guys who have e electric starts to their minor league season usually tend to be watched throughout the course of a season they get really hot and their prices really really jump and usually it's just the guys that have a hot streak you know at the beginning of the season um, as opposed to the middle or the end and other times it's just guys who are uh, really locked in in a certain year you know like roman anthony last year kind of exploded um, with his performance so just something to be aware of and like i said these are all just kind of tools to kind of give you guys some um, extra knowledge in your prospecting journey wherever you're at you know if you want to buy collect you know collect autos collect first chromes um, whatever you want to do this just channel is just dedicated to um, providing you guys with some data you know around the hobby it's something that i love to do is track stats but i'm really um, excited to get this app in my hands and actually be able to see some market data as well and share it with you guys. Um, I do have an affiliate link with Card Hedge if you guys want to check that out um, and check out the app. I think you get 10 days free if you use my link in the description. Um, but also I get like a, a dollar or two cut from each sale that's made you know so it does help the channel as well but um like i said i had played around with other apps and uh like i said card hedge approached me um they gave me access to uh the the pro you know the full suite of their their data tools and this was one of the data tools that i definitely wanted to share with you guys because it's very useful um, like I said, as far as top sales, but we're going to stop talking about stuff. We're going to get into number four, the fourth highest selling prospect of this last month. At number four, we've got Lazaro Montez, um, a very big, powerful bat. He's had 73 sales over the last 30 days. He's 19.6. He's probably got some of the biggest raw power for a teenager in minor league baseball uh, off to a hot start he's batting 400 with a 160 iso he's got a uh, home run he's got a 10 percent walk rate 10 percent k rate so like i said off to a hot start he kind of exploded last year too a huge power bat in the seattle mariners organization and uh, he's definitely be gonna be a guy to keep an eye on there's not a ton of defensive upside but the uh, the bat should be able to play no matter where he ends up defensively because he's kind of like DePaula with more power. The exit velocities are very high. Um, the power is definitely there. So a guy to watch if you've got some Montez in hand. He is selling pretty quickly right now. You know, if he continues to show off the power that he did in 2023 in the higher upper minors, you know, we could see a promotion to high A, maybe even uh, double A if the Mariners are very aggressive. They were 
Um, they're, they're usually a pretty aggressive organization uh, as far as you know sending guys up through the system. So he's going to be a guy to watch in 2024. And like I said, he's already had 73 sales in the last month and 24 sales in the last week. His average price right now for a PSA 10 is right around 160 bucks. At number three, we've got Jackson Merrill, who had an amazing spring training. Uh, I didn't really foresee him breaking camp with the big league club this year. Uh, last year, you know, based on his numbers, but he came out and played really well in spring training, and he broke camp with the major league club, the San Diego Padres. He's playing center field. He's 20.9, so he's one of the youngest players in major league baseball right now. Um, and he's off to a really good start. Uh, he was a $50 auto. This guy actually, Merrill actually headlined my uh, top 150 Bowman Chrome autos list under $50 uh, prior to the start of spring training this offseason. His cards were right around 50 and 60 bucks. You can access that list on my Patreon page if you guys want to check it out. I'll put a link to that in the video description and I'll give you some more information on that as well. But um, it, it's pretty crazy how quickly he exploded uh, as, as going into the 2020 or 2023 offseason as a $50 auto, you know. And now he's selling for, uh, I think it's PSA 10. It says a 52-week high is $200. So, and you can see that the 52-week low was $60. So his stuff has really jumped based on his performance. Uh, across 45 plate appearances, he's hitting 333 with a 215 ISO. Um, exceptional K percentage at 6.6. .6. He's got two homers and two stolen bases with the big league club right now. So Merrill's definitely a guy who is taking off so far in 2024. And I wouldn't say it's a shock, but I am a bit surprised uh, to see him having so much success. You know, uh, he did have good numbers in 2023, but I didn't really see him uh, being this his, his prices jumping this much within the course of a few months. So we'll jump into number two. So at number two, we've got Junior Caminero, who recently came off the DL today and had an amazing game. He hit a home run with like 110 plus exit velocity. So he was injured in late March. He strained a hamstring. He was reactivated from the DL. He's in AAA right now, 20.7. Uh, third base, Tampa Bay Rays, another one of the guys uh, that had lined 2023 Bowman. Um, like I said before, him and Roman Anthony are two guys to really watch out of that release this year. Um, he had 91 sales over the last 30 days, and the sales are probably going to pick back up if he continues to uh, you know, prove that he's healthy and um, continues to hit in AAA. It probably won't be long before we see him at the big league level. He did get some time last year in 2023. Um, didn't really perform very notably, but he only had a small sample size. I think it was under like 50 plate appearances, and he really didn't get much time to get his feet wet. But, um, you know, he was hitting well going into spring training. He had the hamstring injury, but he's back, and he's in AAA. Um, a homer tonight, a big game for him tonight. I think they were up like 12-2 to two when I watched the footage of the home run so um, one of the biggest bats in the minor leagues right now um, in my opinion you know the kid's pretty special I think he's gonna do some really special things with the bat his current prices are right around 338 bucks for a PSA 10 um, the 52 week high is $800 and that was probably a little closer to release you know, when he was just putting up silly numbers in the minor leagues in 2023. So I do expect a little bit of a jump. You can see how the prices have kind of declined, you know, on the two year here um, since release. But like I said, he hasn't, he didn't really do very well in his call up. And maybe that kind of, you know, hindered a little bit of people in, in the buying, um, in the buying realm with the off season, you know, kind of going into the off season with not an elite performance, you know, right after call up. So I do think he's going to have a pretty special year in 2024 and we definitely should see a call up at some point. So he's healthy, he's back and he's definitely ready to hit as he proved tonight. Now, as I mentioned a minute ago, I do have a Patreon page. If you guys want to help support the channel, there's tons of exclusive content over there, um, mostly data. Um, it's not really opinions on who to buy and sell um, and, you know, what's going to happen in the future. But uh, there's tons of data over there. I've got autograph checklist breakdowns for all Bowman releases from 2019 to 2024, including um, the 2024 Bowman that releases later uh, 
in May, I believe, I think it's May 8th that it comes out. Team break guides I've also got for all releases from 2020 to 2024, including 2024 Bowman. My top 150 Bowman Chrome Autos list and my top 150 Bowman Chrome Autos under $50 list that I talked about with the Merrill. You know, he is still the headliner there. I haven't up, updated that. I update that probably two or three times a year. So he's still number one on that list, even though his prices have skyrocketed. I have my juggernaut rankings um, for all minor league hitters with 150 plus plate appearances in 2023. And I'm actually going to start updating those for 2024. I'm going to try to update those every month and throw a video on YouTube. And that's just uh, some, some stats that I gathered. It's all stats based, but it's kind of my cherry picked stats and it ranks all minor league players based on the stats that I chose and all the information's over there. Uh, I have a first Chrome and first Chrome auto database and you also get private access or access to my private discord server. And I really wouldn't call it mine. Uh, Bobby Anderson uh, moderates that for me and does a really great job of uh, keeping everybody up to date on the daily um, with minor league players and prospects and everything. So go over there and check that out. You also get early access to all of my YouTube videos. So if you want to help support the channel, I do have a link to that in my video description. Now this would not be a Let's Talk Wax video without some honorable mentions. So we are going to take a look at some of the higher selling players. Um, that just didn't make the top five. We've got Matt Shaw, who just hit two home runs uh, in a game. I think it was today or the day. It might have been today. Uh, I really think the ceiling, the sky's the limit for Matt Shaw. Uh, I think he's going to be a pivotal part of the future of Chicago. He was amazing in college at Maryland um, and just a really good player. Uh, we've got Brandon Winokur, kind of a sneaky uh Sneaky guy there with the 2023 Bowman draft. He had 39 sales over the past 30 days. Uh, Colin Hauk, he is a prospect that has an autograph in 2023 draft as well. He's had 40 sales over the last 30 days. And I think a lot of this has to do with um, the fact that the most recent release, you know, was Bowman draft uh, prior to 2024 Bowman, which comes out in about a month. So those guys do kind of they probably will show up you know you got jacob wilson and uh, johnny farmello on here as well so understand that uh, there are going to probably be a lot more sales just because uh 2023 draft is the most recent release um, samuel basalo another guy uh probably the headliner for 2023 bowman chrome uh, big bat for the baltimore orioles he is going to be a pretty special kid uh, like i said jacob wilson who is a was a hit machine. Uh, there's not a lot of juice there, but he has an elite hit tool, and we could see him in Oakland, uh, you know, as early as 2024. And Johnny Farmello, another one of the big crop of Seattle man or young prospects with like Colt Emerson, um, Farmello, Ty Pete, you know, a lot of those guys that came out of the 2023 draft. So um, definitely uh, some guys on here that surprised me, you know, like Winokur, Hauk, um, and even Farmello. But like I said, do understand that most of these guys are out of 2023 draft, which was the most recent release is probably why a lot of the sales have spiked there. So at number one, we do not have Jackson Holiday. I think Jackson Holiday was right around number 10 um, in the most sales by volume on this list. So he didn't quite make the honorable mentions list, but um, you know, with his recent promotion to the MLB, there's been a lot of hype around him. He's, he's got his first hit the other day, you know, so um, I think that uh, Jackson Holiday may be a guy we see on the next month's update. But uh, there's been 92 Wyatt Langford sales um, over the last 30 days, 15 over the last seven. So he was pretty hot at the beginning of the 30 day period. You can see, you know, like I said, the guys that have the lower 15 day sales or sorry, the lower seven day sales um, are kind of slowly starting to calm down a little bit. You know, he's struggled a little bit at the major league level. Angel Hernandez um, kind of, I would, <laughs> he, he uh, would use the word screw. That's about a very family appropriate word, but he did cheat him out of some of the bats uh, this past week. So uh, Langford's had some tough times at the plate with some tough calls on balls that were about six inches off the plate. So I think it was one of the largest misses um, by an audit of an umpire audit uh, since auditing had uh, become a thing with umpires it was like a it was like six and a quarter inches of ball outside that you know Wyatt Langford had called on him so he's getting some tough pitches called on him but um, amazing 
spring training, an amazing 2023 season, which was a small sample size, but I mean, it was just one of the most video game-like performances I've seen from a post-draft player in years. Um, over 55 plate appearances, hitting 240 with a 60 ISO. So just not a whole lot going on yet. He hasn't really been able to get things cranking, you know, at the big league level. He's 22.4. Plays left field for the Rangers, but um, I definitely think that Langford is going to be a guy that probably will not ever see the minor leagues again, you know, unless it's an injury uh, situation where he has to go down to rehab. But um, I think he's going to be a pretty, pretty big bat for the Rangers. And definitely a guy to keep track of in the future for sure. All right, that's going to wrap this one up. Like I said, if you guys want to help support the channel, unlock lots of exclusive content, I've got a bunch of it over on my Patreon page, so be sure to go ahead and check that out. I'll put a link to it in the video description. I want to give a big shout out to all my level three subscribers over on Patreon. You guys rock. And like I said, I'll be doing this series monthly so you guys can kind of get a feel for who are some of the higher sales by volume prospects out there right now. If you guys enjoy the channel, you enjoy the videos, don't forget to subscribe and y'all have a fantastic day.